Well, hello, guys. Welcome to the Versus Save episode five. This is the furthest I've got. Um, well, certainly in the last Versus series, I didn't make it past episode four. I was sacked already. To to be honest, um, the, the, there's pretty good reason for sacking me this time. It's not been going well. That that terrible run of form that I had um, with Brest, it's it's come back to bite me. I, it's it's awful. Look at this. Look at this. Just utter rubbishness. So we had that un ridiculously unlucky game against Fortuna Sittard, missed penalty, everything else going against us. Then we played RKC, who are not a good side. We um, we conceded four goals. It basically, I mean, they scored right at the start of the game. The only bright spark we had was Cantella Piedra. This team had not won a game in God knows how long, and we managed to. We managed to give them some chances, but but I think the the pick of the goals, the pick of the goals to to sum it all up. Yeah, I know I'm pissed off. I am super pissed off about all this. <laughs> what, what's new? What is new? Um, is this guy? This guy? This own goal is just beautiful. Um, I mean, you never see these scored against you. Uh, certainly not when you're down there it's it's always when you know when fm is out to piss you off this is what fm does here we go beautiful ball in the goalkeeper does something incredibly weird and nobody does anything about the goal uh, about the ball very very slowly crossing the line yeah it was it was a frustration. Anyway, so we we, we lost 4-2 to RKC. Cantelo Piedra looked like he could finish. Nobody else looked like they could finish. Um, we had lots of chances. It was an even game. But, uh, yeah, they just scored lots of goals. And I, I, I was utterly bemused. We lost to Ajax, and you'd expect to lose that. We lost badly. Huntel our hat trick. I don't care about that. The game I cared very very much about and the one that almost got my laptop thrown out the window was this game it was it was as annoying a game it was more annoying than the the game i showed you because this would be the flipping fourth fifth time i've had this where we played incredibly well and we managed to lose the game somehow against a team who didn't seem to be able to play football so the 56th minute penalty that you see, that was the first shot that they had in the entire game. First shot. And uh, we'd had plenty of shots. We'd had lots of highlights during the game. I think we're on about 15 shots, something like that. One shot, one goal. We then scored straight after that. I thought, oh, yeah, well, that's good. Second shot of the game, <laughs> then they scored with... Um, in the 67th minute, they they did get a, a, a couple more shots as I you know piled on the pressure. But I thought, well, uh, it's not it's not one of those, is it? It's not one of those. It appears to be. Anyway, we then played Sparta, and I changed the formation. Uh, I've been fiddling with the formation through all of this 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 absolute. I mean, you look at that, and you look at that, and it's like it was two different teams playing. I mean, look, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 10 losses, 2 wins. I mean, it's, it's utter crap, utter crap. Um, but this win, we played brilliantly. And what, what was this? What on earth happened here? Well, I changed the, I did change the formation. I changed a little bit. I had changed it for the other ones. I've been tweaking and tweaking and tweaking, trying to get things to work. Nothing's been working, and we absolutely smashed Sparta. It was not a, a, a you know a lucky win. We absolutely smashed them. We got goals from Espinosa, the right, uh, the left back Junker, and Berger and got a goal who hasn't seen the the goal in God knows how long. So I played the same formation against AZ Altmar. Didn't have a shot in the entire game. They, uh, <laughs> they just, uh, yeah, it was interesting. Uh, I, I was, I had this kind of vague. We were sort of one nil down. I had this kind of vague hope. Well, maybe, maybe what's going to happen is, you know, what happens to us where you know we 
we don't have the you know the opposition doesn't have a shot and then all of a sudden they have a shot and uh you know and and they get something out of the game and you think oh god well you know that's really annoying but no no we lost 3-0 and and they absolutely deserve to win i I mean there's, there's no no way i can um say anything otherwise so what have we done tactically? This is what we've done tactically. So the, the issue we've had, and, and there's a bunch of issues here. It's just it's, it's a team full of issues. But um, Zucchini has been out injured uh, for ages. We had then also, yeah, it looks it looks fine now because everyone's back. But then we had uh, a bunch of other players. Who else was out? There's a bunch of people who were out. I can't remember. And the right back, the right back was out as well. Troupe, he's back. He can play good um right so because zucchini has been out for so long what i've decided because he can't seem to play as a defender we're playing younger as a right a right uh, midfielder and it seems to be working okay now this is the team that won so effectively against sparta and now we're playing ado den Haag. hopefully they got the pope up front uh, because other than that, I can't think we're going to do any good. With Leon Clark, I mean, I don't know. He's 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 disappeared in terms of form. We'll put Berger on up top. Oh, I don't know. I really don't know. It's it's just terrible. It would be lovely to get a win, but I think I've screwed it up for to actually win this challenge. Um, unless everyone's form falls under a bus i think i ha absolutely have to win this game absolutely have to win this game and i think i need a big 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 favor from elsewhere certainly from avoiding relegation even though we was playing poorly he was still four points ahead of us but if we can pick up a few points here that would be nice oh look at this Oh, look at this nil nil oh suit you sir matos into someone who has no name brahma brahma into abijana back to matos matos is he gonna play it in is he gonna play it in he does get the ball in and well it finds its way to true pay who's been out for flipping ages and it's straight into the goalkeeper's hands koopmans we know what that means the highlight doth not endeth yet so Koopmans fires it up the pitch and it finds their player. But shock horror, we actually win it back. Can can tell a Piedra who is playing with an injury because he's the only player who can score a goal. Abidjana into Espinosa. Espinosa plays it into Yonka. It's in. It's bloody Yonka. Oh, look at that. The left mid left back who's turned into a left midfielder is that and there's a man who is dressed entirely in green just standing there stoically hatefully looking on look at him there oh there he is next to his man sitting down i don't know what he is what what is he the st john's ambulance man i'm sure it's not that color all over the world but we're one nil up absolutely fantastic <laughs> oh you wonder what I'm moaning about. Look at this. Bergeron chips it in. Oh, Espinosa. Nothing's that straightforward. Espinosa, he looked like he was going to lose it. He has lost it. Well, someone's lost it. True pay. Somerville. And that sounds not the Dutchest name. Cantela Piedra. I've got to take him off at some point. But Juncker. Oh, my Lord. He has a shot. <laughs> it's, on the, it's Matos. He's... Oh, flipping hell. Can we not just make it easy? Can we not just score that goal? That was, you know, easy. Easy goal to score. And, and we've missed it. Meyer. Mike Myers. Now we've got one player back here. And what a flipping challenge that was from Troupe. The man deserves everything. A house, a medal. You know, a pair of, pair of floral braces. Right, ball in. That's Abijana. Nothing seems like it's... I know what's going to happen, which is annoying. True pay. It's buggering, buggering. <laughs> it's, it's two. It's two. It's not buggering, not buggering. <sighs> wow. Yeah. Oh, it's... Um, 
I FM, FM, love it, hate it. My God, it gets gets you out of your seat, doesn't it? I haven't got out of my seat, but figuratively, it gets you out of your seat. If I was a if I was a excitable man, I'd be out of my seat. I, I almost lifted one butt cheek off my uh, off my seat, which I think indicates pure excitement. Right here we go, Matos into Espinosa. Matos plays it in. We needed a win here, and we looking strong. Backer into Duffy. Oh no, oh no. Inners, Immers, don't shoot. It's gone, it's, that was, that was wide. It was going wide. How did that go in? How did that go in? Right, we're watching this again because I feel physics was avoided there. Immers, ball in, Thomas. Okay, well, uh, one shot. One goal. I'm not saying anything, but that's that's happened. Not the first time. Bijan, he plays an interesting ball. Nicolau, who's back in the side. Juncker, who's much, much better and not as a defender. Matos. Ma uh, Abijana, who is, again, a key, key player. And somehow Juncker gets it back. We've had a bit of luck. I don't know what that is, but it's just happened. Um, we're 3-1 up, and currently, if you add all the shots together that have been had in this game, they come to less than 10, which is really interesting. This this is, this is interestingly um, poised. Koopmans, you know, he's got the worrying catch, and that's always a... An interesting thing so you know what comes after the catch catch is the shot down the other end and the shot doesn't go in which is nice well Cantela Piedra I think has done his his duty well, who who can we bring on and and how long is he gonna be out for who can we bring on ah it's Queensy. Queensy is coming on of course he is Queensy is going to he is going to do it. He is going to be the the talisman, the talisman of our save. What's that? Oh, no. Duffy. 68 minutes. Fuck. Offside, maybe. Look like someone doing something. Two shots. I know, I know. I'm, I'm clutching at straws here. We've had five shots on target. They've had two shots on target. Both of those has gone in. We've had three out of our six gone in. Still praise them. I, I know what's going to happen. I, I, I'm, I'm so negative at this game. <sighs> sometimes, sometimes I feel like that trucking football manager. I'm so bloody negative. I'm not making any substitutions. We're going to bring on Troupe. No, we're not. We're taking off Troupe. That's that's an interesting move. We're bringing on uh, the ha uh, the guy I brought in who I thought would be a you know excellent player. Well, if nothing else, you guys you guys have seen some goals, and that that is priceless. Uh, I I think I believe. Mark Duffy, I thought he used to play for Burton. Winger, yeah. Yep, yeah, there we go. On loan at Burton. He had a great season. Yeah, from Birmingham. Yeah, it, was, it is that Mark Duffy. Well, a 3-2 win. I feel we deserved it. Looking at those stats, looking at how the game played out. I don't think a three, I don't think 3-2 is necessarily the appropriate scoreline from that. But, yeah, I'll, I'll push that to one side. We won the game. You guys saw a win from me. And goals. You saw lots and lots of goals. Juncker, a signing that I made, has scored many of these. So, all in all, I think today's on-screen match has been a very posit oh, positive experience. <laughs> As I tell them all, you played bloody terribly there. Now, you wonder why I have trouble with this game. <laughs> oh, wow.
it was good it was good so let's have a little look at where that leaves us in the league uh we've just managed to get up to 40 points which is much better than what it was six points out of the last six games great we should have won against Venlo. We should have won against RKC. Certainly shouldn't have lost those games. And I think we'd have been in a much better position if we had have done. Anyway, it's it's happened now. I, I can't get away with that. So we have games. We've got Vitesse Arnheim, who are fifth. Feyenoord, who are fourth. Pexvol, 13th. PSV. We've had the easy games unfortunately they've come they've gone and we had poor form during them so what we have left up is a incredibly hard run of games which is interesting uh if we get out of this if we somehow manage to win this and there is i see almost no no way of doing it if that happens then um I think I will have generated the greatest tactic in the world for these last six games. But I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, I'll be really interested to see how the other guys have done. So make sure now this is over. It's done. Kaput. But it's not for you. It's not for you. You need to go and watch because I'm going to be doing this. As you're watching this, I'm going to be going over to one of these channels as well. You need to go and watch that Trucking Football Manager or Avoiding Relegations video on game day 26 or whatever, 28, to see how those guys have done. Have they managed to not screw up as badly as I've done? They probably, pri I think it would be hard not to, but we have doubled our points tally from last uh, episode, which is good, which is very, very good anyway guys as always it is a pleasure to have you on my channel uh thank you very much for coming along uh please like the video uh even if you didn't like it you know that's, that's a strange thing to say but just hit that like button you don't need to care about it uh subscribe if you are new and you want to see more of this um this utter chaos i mean we won so ignore the red i'm blocking it from my own sight but not from yours um yeah and um yeah come back and check out how this all finishes up on thursday there will be a recap video to show how the other creators have done and don't forget we are also up against the fmai as well okay guys well thank you so much for coming along and i will see you very very shortly goodbye